All right, name's Trevor. Uh, I'm making this video based off of um, kind of like a review for CR England uh, trucking. Um, as you can see, I'm in a hotel room right now. <clears throat> Pretty decent hotel room. There's the, uh, there's a fellow teammate, uh, a little shy, so we'll leave him alone. Um, so a big reason why I'm making this video is because I have been seeing a lot of videos about this company and about the experience and about what everything was going on. Um, just want to share my experience because I've never really been in this trucking thing, but I have been in driving for a little bit, drove limos and, and uh, you know, work for the car service. Um, and so we started out, we both met each other. Uh, his name, uh, well, uh, well, his name's Adele. Nice guy. If you guys ever see him on the road, say hi. Both started out in dallas we decided to take the bus um bus price is about like 172 from dallas uh would normally take about two two and a half days we left on a saturday afternoon 2 p.m sharp and we arrived in salt lake um at the greyhound bus stop and then you get picked up from one of the shuttle people at 10 30 um sunday evening 10 30 p.m um funny thing is is that i want to say one thing too is that don't ever listen to the people on the bus um you should always make sure that you check your own schedules and check with the people where you arrive to so for example you're in dallas you get on the bus you ask people from dallas that are working at that dallas greyhound station where do I need to be? Okay. Um, it's going to be paid for with the company with CR England. So all you got to do is pretty much go and pick up your ticket. Um, but once you left Dallas, you're going to have multiple stops. Um, the one that messed us up was in uh, Colorado, uh, Denver. Uh, we had about a three hour layover. Nothing wrong with it. They didn't really care. You know, just hung out, hung out there for a little bit. Um, but we apparently were told the wrong gate. So, or it might have been just our fault. But I heard uh, B21, we're supposed to be at B20, uh, we're supposed to be there at 12 o'clock noon. It was leaving 12 o'clock noon, um, you know, on our way to Salt Lake City. We missed the bus. Uh, we were waiting at the wrong gate. So just make sure wherever you get to, don't listen to the people on the bus. They're doing totally different stuff that day. Go talk to the person that is a representative for that city Greyhound because they're going to be the ones that are going to tell you the exact one. You don't want to mess that up because if you if you arrived late, um, again, this is all on your time, on your money. You guys need to bring money, bring stuff with you. Um, I brought a lot of, I brought a decent amount of stuff, but I fit it all in one small suitcase pretty much and one larger backpack. Um, I brought like three pairs of shoes. I brought my Converse, some running shoes and some boots. Um, I brought a bunch of socks and underwear. I'll be honest, you're going to want to bring more of that than anything else. And I would just say because you're going to be wearing shit a lot. I mean, you're just going to be wearing it over and over again. If you've never been on the road um, and you've never kind of traveled a little bit, um, you kind of end up wearing the same stuff. And, and, and uh, you know, if you want to be efficient, you don't want to have to keep cleaning your clothes all the time. Um, bring uh medication or advil or any like claritin or things like that as well that's something that i think would be very important um small little stuff here and there i wouldn't bring a whole lot of food i would bring money for the food they do have uh walmart trips we did for us have them on mondays and wednesdays so after you do backing or over the road or any training of that sort at five o'clock they normally will have the bus to be able to get to walmart I say they'll give you about an hour or two to go shop around in Walmart, get what you need. Um, you do have to carry everything on your own. So, yeah, I'm, you know, there's only so much you can get. Um, and then they'll bring you back to the hotel. Uh, I would say definitely get your sleep with training and everything. Once we got here, we ended up having to take a plane since we did miss that bus in Denver. Uh, we ended up having to take a plane from Denver to Salt Lake um, out of our own pocket. So, Again, I'm just saying a lot of the stuff you guys are going to have to like just set up for yourself and just make sure you're organized. If you're prepared and organized, um, you really won't be worried about anything. But if you're not prepared and organized, you're going to be rushing, you're going to be reacting. You want to be proactive. You want this, you want this stuff to, um, to just roll, roll together, you know? 
um, get plenty of snacks. I'd, I'd really try to eat healthy. I mean, there's so much stuff that you can get, but it's like, make sure you know what you're going to eat. Um, I'll be honest. I came here. Not, I, I don't expect to be comfortable. I mean, I didn't expect to eat real good. You know, you do what you can, but I mean, you're here to get your CDL. I want to make that clear for you guys that are looking into, you know, with CR England and stuff like this, uh, where I'm still in the training. Uh, we finished pretty much our first week. Today is Monday. Um, and normally the people that didn't pass the week before are going to be taking tests on Monday and Tuesday. And then the following uh, group that is ready to start taking tests will be get taking it um, Wednesday, Thursday. And then come Friday, um, whoever's going to be hired should be hired. Um, but uh, anyways, we're in the training. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that's going to come out your guys' way. A lot of information. My best advice and in looking at all this um, take it one day at a time. Do not stress about a pre-trip when you're learning about backing. Just don't even worry about it. Don't even think about pre-trip. Don't worry about backing when you're on the road and you're doing the training for the on the road. Don't worry about it. Just focus on each day. There's, there's going to be plenty of time to study. There's going to be plenty of time to focus on what you need to do. I am naturally inclined to like the driving part. I do enjoy the backing. I do enjoy on the road. I think... I mean, just to be honest, not to be cocky or anything, but I I do feel very comfortable and I'm I'm kind of natural at it. The pre-trip kind of took a little longer for me, um, but I mean, by 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 for Friday or Saturday of this last week, I mean, I'm ready to take the test. Um, pre-trip, just know that you have to just use your own words. Um, you know, just make sure that you study a lot. If you put in the hours for the studying, you should be good. But um. The rooms are pretty good. They're going to put you guys uh, in rooms that are going to be um, that are going to be teammate kind of roommate up. Um, I was lucky enough to end up actually be roommating with the guy that I met in Dallas. So that's kind of a good, nice little thing is it was somebody that you're familiar with. Um, but yeah, so bring shoes, socks. Um, I would not, I mean, you know, you can bring your headphones, there's a little gym here and everything. Um, but I would say really get your rest. If you're not used to waking up at four o'clock in the morning, um, you're in for it. Uh, we do have to wake up about four, four fifteen, at least I do. Um, and be downstairs by five o'clock when they tell you a date or a time, when they say the bus is going to be there to pick you guys up by five fifteen. be down there 15 minutes early. Uh, Miss Christie is going to say that if you're on time, you're late. If you're early, you're on time. So if they say 515, I'd be down there by five o'clock. Don't stress about it. There's going to be multiple buses, but I just, again, just to be on that ride, to get to the, to the place, I would be there. Um, I would, be, I would get there, you know, at five o'clock. So whatever you need to do to wake up and get ready, um, that is a, that's something you need to do. Um, what else we talk about? hygiene definitely bring enough uh stuff to wash you up i would definitely say if you're not flying by the way flying is an option they will reimburse you i think it's a hundred dollars uh to fly out there so you know if your flight's 155 bucks they'll reimburse you and by the way they're going to reimburse you once you are hired which means once you get your cdl and you pass your test as all this time before y'all are uh, training, it, you're not getting paid and you're not even hired yet. This is all technically an interview. And that's what they're going to tell you. It's literally all an interview, how you speak to people, how you treat people, um, how, how much you effort you put into the backing. I'd say the backing would take the, the, the most practice. Uh, if you have a chance to do the backing, go do the backing because when you're chilling in your, your hotel room at night, you can't go to the school and just go do some backing. Uh, you can do your pre-trip. Uh, you can watch your video. I don't know. Everybody learns differently. So um, the pre-trip, there's a video they're going to give you as well as um, the in-cab and all that kind of stuff. They'll go over that with you guys. But I wanted to make this video really just to kind of give you guys uh, uh, my opinion about it. It's pretty awesome. Um, it does suck to be away from your family, but this is the kind of business that you're getting into if you are going into Um I'm going to be going into a dedicated route uh, based out of Texas. So that's going to be something I am looking forward to. Um, I would do over the road, but at the same time, 
I do have a family, so I'm not really looking to be on the road for three to four months. Three to four weeks, my bad. By the way, it's going to be training. When they tell you it's going to be like a seven-day, you know, you'll graduate after seven days. You won't graduate after seven days. You're going to get to the school on like a Saturday or Sunday. That following Monday is the first day of school. You're going to train that whole week. That following week after, week two, the remakes of people two weeks before are going to be testing Monday, Tuesday. Some of y'all might test on Tuesday. I wish I tested on Tuesday, but they didn't call our names. And I guess it's random because the state will pick it up. So um, if you test on Tuesday, awesome. If not, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Okay. Um, after that, you have orientation, which is two days. And again, the school isn't open on weekends. So orientation, you know, if you, if, if you pass your test on Friday, it's going to be next Monday, Tuesday, then hopefully your mentor will be there. Um, uh, like if you say, if you pass on a Tuesday or Wednesday, I think depending on when the classes are, um, they're going to uh, have, have those set up for you. So you'll have orientation. No, I don't know if we get paid for orientation. I've heard yes, I've heard no, I, it's whatever. Even if you do get paid, it's gonna be a freaking $100 or something like that. It's nothing crazy. Um, but yeah, man, so it's, uh, it's really depending on what you guys wanna do. I've heard mixed emotions about it, uh, about pay, about all this kind of stuff. But at the same time, I want you guys to understand something. Um, it's what you make it. You're going to hear plenty of things of what other people are going to say, their opinion about all this shit, about complaining. I would stay away from the people that complain. Stay away from them. Focus on what you're here to do. You're here to come to this school to get your CDL. That's it. Make a few friends. Be nice to people. Have a good time. But you're here to study. You're, here, you, you're not here to be comfortable. You're here to get your CDL. You're here to grow and uh, get into an industry that is, uh, I mean, as far as I've seen, highly needed right now. Um, I wouldn't imagine being a truck driver for very long. I mean, I would like to be an owner-operator and kind of get into the business side of stuff. So that is something in the future. But um, my idea is I kind of want to get into the game on the ground floor. And, you know, you want to learn the industry. Um this is kind of the best way to do that, to actually be what you would be in charge of. And so we'll see. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to take our test either Wednesday or Thursday, depending on when you take your test. By the way, you take your test, you do pre-trip. You're going to do form A, B, C, or D. D is the whole shebang. The state picks what, which one you do. So it depends on what the state decides for you. The school doesn't choose. They don't choose when you go. It's all up in the air. So you're going to get form A, B, C, or D. You're going to do the in-cab inspection. <clears throat> and then once you pass the pre-trip and the in-cab inspection, you're going to go ahead and do the backing. Once you pass the backing, which is straight, offset, parallel, then you go to on the road. If you don't pass backing, you have to wait two days. If you don't pass pre-trip, you have to wait two days, 48 hours before you can retest. And that's if they have a slot. So that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. You guys have plenty of time to study. There's plenty of downtime to figure out what you need to get done. And that's why I always say if there's available backing, go to the backing and make sure and get that done quick. It shouldn't really be that hard. Um, the backing is going to be straightforward. You listen to the instructors. Learn to listen to instruction. Do not like, do not over, over, over complicate things. If you listen to instruction, you will do just fine. If you have common sense and listen to instruction, you do just fine. Um, don't overthink it. Don't look at the paper. It depends on how you learn. If you learn by doing stuff, I didn't even look at the paper to do almost my pre-trip, in-cab, and backing. Same with over the road. I didn't even look at any paperwork. Um, that's how I learn. I learn by going and doing. I, I, and, and by the video, the video is very useful as well. But as well, um, just kind of do your thing. So we're going to be here hopefully no longer than, fuck, I mean, another week. Um, you know, the latest we would be testing is Friday. And then, you know, we have orientation and then we have to wait for your mentor. By the way, if you want to get out early, once you get your CDL, accept that you might be in a truck with multiple trainees and the mentor, not just a one on one. I know that sounds crazy, but it's what it is. There's so many people looking to get into this kind of industry right now. Um, it's a high demand and there's a lot of people looking to get people 
to put their CDL to get these jobs rolling. Um, so again, my name is Trevor. I just wanted to put that up there for you guys. If this is any value to anybody, you know, write some comments, let me know, subscribe. I'm literally just starting. I just wanted to see about how this stuff works, but I wanted to give my opinion and my, uh, you know, my little knowledge that I do know about this and I'll probably keep it going, um, and let you guys know and kind of keep you updated with the pay and everything. I mean, cause you'll hear about pay and stuff, but it's like, you hear about some of this pay stuff, but you know, they're guys that are like five six seven ten months working for them and you know you kind of want to know about the whole situation so i'm going to be documenting kind of this beginning journey um i'll probably do a more in-depth stuff about other things but for now on if you guys have any questions just go ahead and put it down in the comment section um but i hope this helps um and keep trucking and uh provide for your family and make sure you guys you know take it seriously um if you're not here and it's not your thing don't waste your time to stay here go home um, if it is your thing, make sure you study enough and get your things done um, and get the hell out of here. I mean, because there's no point in staying here extra days when, um, you know, your family's waiting for you and everything else. So peace out. You're highly blessed and favored. We'll talk to you later.